Hey, how's it going everybody? Burp right here, and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make an iconic classic cocktail, but with a modern twist. So, come along and catch a buzz with me. Today we're going to be mixing up the White Russian. Now the first iteration of this drink was simply named the Russian and it surfaced sometime in the 1930s and it did not have a coffee liqueur. It wasn't until sometime around the 1960s when the drink started to incorporate Kahlua, a coffee based liqueur, into the drink and it kind of started to rise in popularity. But ultimately, this drink really became popular because of a 1998 crime comedy called The Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski was written, produced, and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen. It stars Jeff Bridges as Jeffrey the Dude Lebowski, a Los Angeles slacker and avid bowler. He is assaulted as a result of a mistaken identity, after which the Dude learns that a millionaire, also named Jeffrey Lebowski, was the intended victim. The millionaire Lebowski's trophy wife is kidnapped, and he commissions the Dude to deliver the ransom to secure her release. But the plan goes awry when the dude's friend Walter Sobchak, played by the great John Goodman, schemes to keep the ransom money. At multiple times in The Big Lebowski, you can see the dude mixing himself up a white Russian, which traditionally was just vodka, Kahlua, and a heavy cream or half and half cream. Even in the intro credits, you can see him going and uh, tasting the milk in the supermarket before buying it with a uh, this dollar purchase with a handwritten check. But, like I mentioned, today's cocktail has a modern twist to it, so this is going to be taking the White Russian and just elevating it to a whole new level. The White Russian recipe we're going to be looking at today was created by Toby Sacchini out of the Long Island Bar in Brooklyn, New York. Some interesting points that separates Toby's recipe from the traditional one is that it allows for the use of rum over vodka, it adds a second coffee liqueur, it also adds Toshi Nocello, which is a walnut liqueur, and an amaretto spiked whipped cream topping. I actually had a really hard time finding the Toshi Nocello anywhere in my area. I went to ABC, I went to uh, Total Wine, I went to some of the small local shops and I could not find really any even walnut substitute. So if you guys have any suggestions for a walnut liqueur substitute for Toshi Nocello, please let me know down below in the comments. So today, instead of using Nocello, I'm going to be substituting in Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur, and I'm also going to be sticking with tradition and going with vodka instead of rum. Now, in a future video, I will try to explore this variation using rum instead, probably a really good uh, reserved rum. So I'm going to start by putting all my core ingredients into my shaker here. We're going to begin with two ounces of the vodka. Uh, I typically go with a, a wide variety of different vodkas. I've kind of become a big fan of Tito's lately just because, honestly, Tito's is such a flavorless, uh, absolutely outstanding vodka to use in just about any drink because, again, no real flavors are imparted. Uh, but today I'm trying out this uh, Summon Vodka from France. It says Artisan Vodka Distilled and Bottled in France. This one was bottled in 2017. Uh, so again, it's going to be uh, two ounces of the vodka. We're going to go with a half ounce of Frangelico, again substituting in for the um, Nocello that we had in. So this is a hazelnut liqueur instead of a walnut liqueur. Then we're also going to need a half ounce of Kahlua, which is kind of a, a typical, very well-known staple coffee liqueur you can find just about anywhere. And we're also going to use one ounce of Cayman Reef, which is a dark roasted Kona coffee liqueur. Uh, this one I found at um, actually a couple different stores. I think I first found it at ABC one year and I've just really grown to love it. I, I think that uh, even on the aroma, the flavor, everything about it is just so much more uh, delicious coffee roasted flavors that, and notes that come out of it. Uh, I actually prefer this much more over uh, the very well-known Kahlua variety. Now in a separate shaker, you want to add four ounces of heavy cream. You can choose whatever kind you like. I am actually going with my Publix brand uh, heavy whipping cream because Publix is an absolutely amazing grocery store and I feel sorry if you live in a place that uh, you cannot go and get a pub sub uh, or any of the great deals that uh, this chain grocery store offers. So again, we're just going to be going with four ounces of heavy cream in a separate container or shaker. And then we also need a quarter ounce of the amaretto to be added. And I'm going to pour a heavy quarter ounce, so uh, just a little bit over a quarter ounce because I really want that 
and we're ready to shine in. Now one interesting thing about the shaker that I'm using is it has one of those little uh, aerator balls in it. It's, it's typically something that you would use if you were going to be uh, uh, shaking up like a, um, I don't know, any kind of energy drink or a protein shake or something like that. But I found that this container tends to be a, a very great choice for this type of shaking. So now all you're going to do is want to shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't want stif stiff peaks to form. You just want it to uh, really firm up a little bit, give it a nice consistency. And that's it. Now we're going to set this off to the side for a second. Next, you just want to add a little bit of ice to your shaker. Slap this down. Always remember to keep the glass end facing back. You don't want glass or drink shooting at the people sitting in front of you. And just give it a good healthy shake, about 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, then you're just going to want to take your strainer here, put it on top of your cocktail shaker, and go ahead and pour the foundation, the basis of your beautiful cocktail here. We're coming along, we're almost at the finish point. Now, you want to go ahead and top this thing with that beautiful cream. What you're going to need is a slotted spoon. Hey, I don't have a slotted spoon, but I have this uh, pie spatula here, which does have a slot in it. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try here. We're just going to gently pour this over top. You want at least a good finger or so to float above your drink here. Oh yeah, that's going beautifully. Look at that. Absolutely outstanding. What a wonderful looking cocktail. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Now while it looks really good, we got to see how well it tastes. But man, I am excited to try this. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the modern twist on an absolute classic cocktail, the White Russian. And man, it looks really good. But let's see how this thing tastes. Salute. Oh man, that is really, really outstanding. The addition, uh, the addition of the coffee liqueur just really culminates really well with the Kahlua. Again, this Cayman Reef is really awesome, so that beautiful Kona coffee flavor is coming through. Uh, the vodka, there's maybe a slight hint of it, but really what finishes everything off is this cream uh, topping that you have, the whipped cream amaretto infusion up top. Man, it just adds such a nice layer to this drink when you're sipping on it, you're enjoying it. You know, you get the bruntness, the upfront of the coffee and the alcohol, and it's just followed through with the sweetness and creaminess of the amaretto whipped cream on top. This is uh, by far, I've had many, many white Russians over my years uh, trying all different varieties from different flavored vodkas and whatnot. I gotta say, this is my absolute favorite. So a big salute to Tony up in, uh, the, uh, in New York and Brooklyn for creating this cocktail. It is an absolutely outstanding drink, one that I look forward to making more in the future. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. If you're keen on learning about more cocktails, I plan to do more videos like this here in the near future. I've actually been building quite an impressive home bar, I would say, at least uh, you know for your average person's home bar. I have quite a nice collection of uh, different um, main liquors as well as liqueurs and mixers and whatnot. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be exploring some more cocktails over the next uh, several months. This is just something that I enjoy doing now. Uh, and, uh, and of course, stay tuned for uh, lots of other great content on this channel. And hey, if you want to be notified of whenever I create a new video and post one, be sure and hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified right away whenever I put out a new video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed very much. Thank you as always. And stay toasty, my friends. We'll see you in the next video. Damn, that is fucking good.